YouTube, what is going on? My name is Wido, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own Discord server for your own team or clans, however you want to call it. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time. Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the first step in making your own Discord server. So the first thing you want to do, if you have a bunch of servers, you want to make sure you scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on add a server and create a server. Personally, I think it's better to create a server on your phone because, you know, you can type faster and everything. But whatever you can just add whatever name you want i'm just gonna name it whiteout because my name's whiteout and you can click on here to add your own picture i'm not gonna do that because that's you probably know that already most of you can know that already the first thing they'll tell you to do is invite like friends and stuff so if you want to invite your friends you can invite them to your discord there's other ways of inviting people to your discord you can copy this link right here and send it to people you know on other social medias and i'm sorry if you guys hear that discord like sound this is my first time making a video on streamlabs so i apologize i'll try to fix it if it's like really annoying but yeah you guys can send this to anyone else you want and promote it and you can also promote these in other discord servers that allow promoting so if they don't allow promoting i simply advise do not do that because they'll ban you on that instantly trust me so this is what it will look like you have one like general chat and you'll have a voice channel i'm gonna show you guys my my team's discord i made this by myself and you know i have friends that help me with this so basically i'm gonna explain before i help you guys so yeah ignore the chat <laughs> i'm sorry ignore the chat so basically we call this our office basically most of us have our like own separate rooms if we just want to chill you know listen to music and stuff like that I'll be showing you guys how to add like music bots to everything else. Like, so yeah, these are our rooms that we fill in sometimes. Um, the welcome feed, you know, like when someone joins, it will give you guys this message. We'll explain everything. I have the requirements that we need to join this clan, benefits from joining, the roles that you'll get, you know, Instagram captions, but I'll explain that later. But this is our main chat that you just saw right here. And I have to, like Fortnite stuff like the item shops. I can show you guys how to add this bot too. So yeah, basically every day it will show us the item shop. It's like an hour delay. We have patch notes, but there hasn't been patches and who knows how long, so we don't have that. You know, our roster, custom matchmaking codes and stuff like that. My own video promotion. <coughs> Keep scrolling down. We have like voice channels, like this is where everyone can join. When I get more people to play on PC, we're all going to be joining on the Discord instead of like Xbox parties. Correct me if I'm wrong, but what I've seen is that you can have 99 people in a Discord server at once. That's crazy. I wouldn't have that many people in my own server personally. And then we just have this extra stuff. We have like self-promotion. All right, so I'm not going to waste too much time. So yeah, the first thing you want to do, you can do this on your phone too. I'm just saying it's easier to do it on your phone personally. So this is your main chat. You can just call it main chat. Oh my God, I forgot when I type in M, I have it to mute. So yeah, you can even add emojis if you want. Just add like one, not too flashy. And you don't have to do this now, but keep this off too if you know you know. Alright, so this is your main chat, you know, you can just say hi and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna um show you guys the bots. I already have this set up, so the first bot you wanna get is your Me6. You just go to the website, you can do this on your phone or computer, log into your Discord, and you can add it to your Discord. So you add it to there. You can keep all the roles and stuff, permissions. Rise to verify that you're not a robot for everything, so don't worry about that. And I just got that sound that he just joined. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys why this bot is really important for your Discord. So, yeah, these are all the perks you can get from using this bot. First, I want to show you guys where is it? Is the welcome. So, yeah, when someone joins our Discord, it's gonna send like a welcome to the Discord and it's gonna show in that section that you put it in. So, yeah, you can say. You can even customize like the message or the welcome. So I'm just gonna keep hey, whoever, welcome to the server. I'm not gonna put it in the main chat. I want you guys to go in Discord. If you're making your own Discord, go to Discord. And what you guys wanna do, let's click on create category, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, create category. You can just name it welcome. This is what I do. I name it welcomes and goodbyes. So yeah, name it welcomes and goodbyes. So I'm just gonna put what I have in my Discord. I'm just gonna put new members. Keep in mind, guys, you can put emojis, but I do that on my phone. So yeah, if you have a phone, just do it on your phone to make it easier. So yeah, new members, create. And now I think you have to go back and refresh. No, no, you don't, you don't. So you can put it on new members in that section, save it. You don't have to have the welcome card on. This is really optional. I personally don't like it. You don't need to have it on. 
So, if you want to give a role to new members, you can. So, since like I have my own like team, I would give them a needs tryout role because if you're new, you're obviously gonna need a tryout or something like that. So yeah, and you can also send a message when they leave the server. I those are the only ones I have on, is the welcome and the goodbye when they leave the server. So yeah, you can save that. Oh sorry, um, put that on new members. Save it now. You can put, you can customize the message saying that they just left the server. It doesn't matter. So guys, when you finish adding the welcome, you can also do many things like levels. This is one of the things I see with every Discord is levels or rank, I guess. Um, you can leave it in your current channel that you're talking into the main chat. It honestly doesn't matter. You can leave it. Um, you can use that for any bot. It doesn't matter. So the more you talk in a specific Discord server, you'll get a level for it. You can change the way of how fast you level up and stuff. I leave it at one because it doesn't really matter. It's just like for fun showing your rank and stuff. So yeah, I'm rank 44. I don't know what server this is, honestly, but so yeah, every server you're in, you're in a different rank. I'm not going to go too far in this. So also, if you guys go to the plugins, one thing I'm going to show you guys for this bot is like when you go live. So basically, just say I want to enable my Twitch to this bot. Once you find your Twitch, go back to Discord and go back to your server and create another category. I'm just going to name it news. And you can name this live streaming. So basically what's going to happen is once you enable that, where is it? Okay. So basically every time you go live, it will show a message saying that you went live or whatever. You can customize it, but it's always going to be in this section of your discord. So go back. Honestly, leave this off because you never know when you're going to grow and it will be really annoying if you're going to keep getting notifications that someone followed you. So make sure you post it in the live streaming. Save. You can change the message too. So yeah, that's really all I have to show you for Me6. You can go check it out yourself. Just type in Me6 Discord bot and you can see everything there. And yeah, I'm going to go to the next bot. Alright, so the next bot we have is actually a really like entertaining or and like a more interactive bot for your Discord. It's Dank Memer. I'm sure most of you guys know what this meme or this bot is, excuse me. So basically you can have stuff like this. Um, so what you want to do is log into your Discord and add it. You have to do this with every, you have to do that with every bot you log into. Alright, so I'm not going to go too far into this, but you can go into commands and find all the commands. I'll show you guys one command. So go, I'm just going to put this in the main chat. I'm going to do one command. So I'm going to do please roast at myself. And there you go. It's going to roast you. And yeah, that's little things you can do with this bot. But if you want to have more commands, just go into that command section and you can find anything you want that's everything you need to know of dank member it's not too much but it's supposed to be like a fun bot and yeah i'm gonna go to the next bot that you'll need all right the next bot that we're gonna be having is a music bot there's multiple bots but i currently use groovy.bot so what you're gonna do is of course add it to your discord so once you log into groovy go to commands and it's gonna show you how to play music and do everything else with the music you want to do and once you look at the commands you want you can go to your discord and you can just Create another category, name it music. Alright, so this next step is different. What you want to do is make sure you create the channel and make it a voice channel. And you can just name it music bot. Honestly. It really doesn't matter. And after oh my god, and after you add that, make sure you add another one. So go to create channel and make sure it's on a text this time. You can name it whatever I'm just gonna name it listening to music. So once you have these two channels, make sure you connect yourself to your voice channel, so your music channel. You connect yourself as you can see right here. I have my mic muted. And then you can go to the Vibe Into Music channel or whatever you named it, type in slash play, and then whatever song you want. So just make sure it's on. It's on. You see the groovy bot just joined. Let me let me just type in something. I haven't muted, so I really do not want to get copyrighted, so I'm not gonna have it on. So that's how you get it on. I'm not gonna really go that deep into the music, but you get the point of how to use the music and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go to my next bot. I'm gonna be showing you guys my item shop bot. This is for Fortnite only. So once you're in your Discord, this time you don't have to create a category. You can even just put it in your news category section. So make sure you create your own channel. Name it um, Fortnite item shop, I guess. You can name it Fortnite item shop, create the channel. All right, so first thing for this bot, once you have your item shop ready, type in exclamation point FNBR base shop and it's going to show you guys the current item shop so make sure you press enter it's going to delete your command and it's going to show you the current item shop so today is tuesday so yeah i'm going to try to upload this video today too so that's the command you use if you want to see the current item shop and as you can see if you wanted to show every day 
type in exclamation point fnbr watch what i do carefully space configure space shop and then make sure you use your hashtag and you want to get it in the item shop hashtag this is basically gonna put it in that section press enter and now you have notifications every day that you'll get that item shop in your section every day just like i have mine i'm gonna show you guys one more time how i have mine so we can go here in the item shop every single day all right in the final bot that i have for you guys is for fortnite again this is patch bot if you want to you can add this but they haven't made patch notes and they haven't made official patch notes in a long time so make sure you do the same thing all right so you can go create another channel and name it patch notes all right so now go back to the patch bot website make sure you go to your correct server click on your server and now that you want to choose the section you want to have patch notes in whenever they actually add patch notes so make sure this is checked and there we go and now it is saved and whenever we get patch notes it'll be there so let me go back and make sure and there we go so now i'm going to be explaining you guys roles i'm sorry if this video is like really long i really didn't think it would be that long so oh my god so what you want to do is go to server settings i would really prefer you to do this on your phone but go to roles this one's gonna be for the bot so you can like organize all of your bots click on the plus to add a new role you can i'm gonna name it bots you can even have your own you can have regular colors and you can custom your own color if you want i'm just gonna it doesn't doesn't really matter i'm just gonna make it green i guess it really doesn't matter what color okay so now just make sure you have manage webhooks on read text channels send messages send tts messages manage messages all of these on except the following make sure they don't have kick members on band members keep create you can keep this on and um all right so that's all you need so so you only need to have the display role members on you don't have to have allow anyone to add bots on because it's really pointless it's not going to do anything so the next step you want to do is you want to click on all of your bots and make sure they have the bot role all right, and now you guys can see that they're all in the bot section. So they're not gonna all be like scrambled throughout your whole Discord when you have more members. All right, so now we're gonna be adding more roles. Um, make sure you go back to your server settings, roles, the plus sign to add a role. And now you guys can add whatever you want. This is like, whatever, this is basically all yours now. For myself, I'm gonna put owner, and I'm just gonna have it as red because red's my favorite color. So yeah, we're gonna have it as that. Add, you can just put admin to yourself make sure no one has admin unless you trust them uh, or unless they're like the management of your team or something i'm gonna give myself the owner role and i'm gonna go back what you guys can you guys can't see that yet because i didn't put something on so go back to your server settings excuse me for that go back to roles go to owner and make sure you have these two on now you can have the second role on save that basically you can have all these on it doesn't matter this is like the owner's role of the discord and make sure it's at the top and make sure this is above your bots look we're gonna add a manager role it doesn't matter i'm just gonna give it a certain color it doesn't matter if you don't want your managers to have admin you don't have to give it to them so yeah just make sure that that's on i don't know why that got moved put that there there and save all right so i'm gonna cut this part out but i'm gonna just give you a bunch of roles you can make in three two one all right and these are little roles you can add to your own discord you can add emojis too and stuff i would just add one like on the front and the back but don't go too crazy on emojis because it's gonna look really cringe i guess but yeah so this is basically what i have for like the smc discord things like this manager competitive players content creator streamer etc you get the point you can add more but i'm just saying that's the basics of the roles now that you have your roles i'm gonna be showing you guys more channels and sections you can make to your discord so you can like switch how you want your stuff to be so i'm gonna add a rules section okay so i'm gonna show you guys what i put you can copy and paste this if you want but this is just a uh, example of what you can have so that's basically what i have for my rules section i'm not i'm not going like that far because it's not really a server i'm gonna use i can honestly give to someone if i want it to so you can have something like that how welcome to the server before you go to the main chat we have a few rules don't be toxic and don't bring up personal issues things like that and once they click on this they'll bring them to the main chat where everyone's gonna be talking i'm not gonna invite anyone because i don't really need the server it's just an example for you guys so i'm gonna give you guys more all right so basically for voice channels 
I'm not gonna add it, but what you, what you wanna do is click on create a channel, make sure it's the voice channel, and you can name it whatever you want, but whatever you want. If you're playing Fortnite or any other game, just name it that game or looking for group or something. Things like that you can just do. All right, so for a text channel, you can just add, like you can have memes basically. You can have a meme section. You can put all your memes and everything in this section. You can add emojis, all this, like I said again. All right, so now go back into news and now create another channel. You can name it Team Roster. Create that channel. I didn't say this, but once you go to, make sure you go to your news section, edit that category, go to permissions, at everyone, and make sure the following are off. Make sure this is on then messages are off you can keep this at that read history on off off actually i'll leave that neutral the point is just to like make sure no one like types in those sections for like the item shop and things like that make sure no one's talking in it or right, i'm just gonna add team news to the news section you can have whatever you can have whatever you want like we're having plan battle tomorrow at 3 p.m east and you can just put that and no one else can type but you so that's like really all you need for your new section you can have more but this is like the basics you need all right so there's two more things that i have to show you guys you can add there's two more sections that i can give you guys so which one do is create a category and name it self name it self promotion you just want to create like whatever so like your xbox gamer tag whatever you want so like anyone can just like put their links and stuff instagram twitter it really doesn't matter you can add all the social medias you want and one more thing i'm gonna add is your gaming setup like so go to create category and you can just put gaming setup create that now all you have to do is create a text channel and just put setup it doesn't matter what you put just put whatever you want and just add setup and anyone can just take pictures of the gaming setups. And speaking of gaming setups, I'm gonna be making a gaming setup update in like maybe a month or so. By the end of the summer, I'm gonna have one. Hopefully, I have a video for you guys. And that's basically all you guys need for this Discord. For this is basically a basic Discord setup. I I can show you guys my Discord again. This is just the basics you need. If this video blows up, I hope it does. I'll make a part two for like the advanced settings and stuff for your Discord servers. I appreciate everyone that stood around to the end of the video. I hope this video is not as long as I made it. It's about like an... This video took me an hour to make. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to try to cut it to at least 20 minutes if I can. If you like videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on post notifications and comment down below what you want to see eventually on the channel. And I'll be seeing you guys soon for another video.